Okay, everybody, welcome back to Vice Mono Games. My name is Vice Mono, and this is David Dale. Yeah, thank you. Um, last time we were playing. Yeah. Hey. Apparently, mm -hmm. I. Back on my side. Mm -hmm. I did all this already, and I saved after the. That kind of sucks. It seems like it's not quite even peak condition today. It's like it's kind of... Ah, uh, that's not right. Okay, of course I'm still here still. Got this. If you watched the last one, if you didn't watch the last one, then go back and watch the last one because I did, I, I, I did read that. Because when I saved, I saved up here a little ways. And go back, there should be some enemies up here pretty soon. That almost kicked my ass last time I was here. I am going to beat this game, even though I'm already finding flaws that I'm not too big on. But, such is life, I guess, you say. <laughs> that was my nice little grapple thing over there. Too high of graphics setting or something. I mean, I shouldn't have to. Maybe I'm going too much for the background. I am running some stuff in the background. I didn't think about that. Hmm. Can't change that. Can't. I can't change that. Okay, whatever. I can't change anything like resolution or whatever. That's no. Huh? Just break it out. Oh, thank you. I've been hearing some strange noises. They've been rattling the okay. cave walls. Oh. Thank you, I was thinking that they got one to be free again. Hey, yeah, you're here, come on, my god. Your hair was like orange, instead of, like, black. Hmm? Oh, I guess all orange. Those couples are a nasty bunch, but I think there's something else in these caves. Here's the problem with dwarves, first of all. Dwarves have... unique beings. Not always normal colored. <laughs> you know what? Just go out and find a D and D book, or just a regular book, not like an actual game guy or whatever. But find a D and D book and read it, and you'll see this amazing difference in this game. Or play Never Winter. Or why is there a fire on the bridge now? Really? Okay, Never Winter. Or play. <laughs>
I got a really tight speed for the camera still. You should not have fallen in the Stand there as this big fist comes flying on my face. Really? No, you run. Yeah, this video doesn't seem right. I'm so good to upload it. It's already edited. And I can't change it. I, I fucked up. So what about it? I'm so mm. upload though. Ah, greetings, my name is Garbo Silverton. Really? So it's the master Paxton. Mm -hmm. What's that? You're on a mission to conquer the Tower of Void? Mm -hmm. I'll arrange for you to speak to the Master Paxton if you truly want to challenge re Zulus. Except Quest. I'm sure you two will have plenty to talk about. Hey yeah, have a brown beard. Yeah, hell cause of it's a miracle. I'm gonna wait to be a little bit shorter. Yeah. Usually I make about 20 minute videos, but I think this one is gonna stick to a 10 minute ish video because I need to wait till I'm doing stuff, I guess, in the background. <laughs> High end PC, my ass! <laughs> I have a good PC, I can't wish about it. I'll break the barrels, go talk to this guy, and I will be done. Yeah, it's left with Roxy, so back to the key back to the yeah. I'm not like missing these barrels, I'm walking right past. Whatever he says, <laughs> I appreciate your insanity. Uh -huh. The only entrance is through the grand uh -huh. gates. I'd help you through, but I have workers we vote to deal uh -huh. with. We came there to return the mine to the uh, dwarven hands. Uh -huh. How can we restore a legacy if we can't even find out some filthy goblins? Uh -huh. No shit! Help our people get back to work and we'll get you to do that. Uh -huh. Head to the heart of the Gladstone and speak to Ezio, the union leader of the mine. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna end my video session here. I will see you guys next time, as always. <laughs>